Hello guys. Hello, hello. Today um I'm going to be talking about acupressure and how it can help with menstrual um cramps. So basically um what you want to do and I'm also going to talk about other things to help with menstrual cramps naturally. So if you are used to just taking um pharmaceuticals, you can we weave, um, weave yourself off of it slowly and try to get more to hostilistic and um herbalistics and medicine foods of yah um and herbs um to heal you and to prevent menstrual cramps or to have lighter menstrual cycles and cramps so basically you um it's called acupressure and then i will also um put in different little things um as i edit it but you want to take your um hands and make a fist and make sure it's like that you want to make sure it's flat. So like if you like hit somebody and you just want to make it like that. So once you do that, then um, you want to locate your pelvis area on left and right side. Your pelvis area, your spleen, spleen or spleen which is your pelvis area on both ends, left and right. And you want to uh, put your fist here. And then uh, you want to lay down. So you're going to put your fist down and make sure that your fist is on top of your pelvis. So let me go right here and put it up under there. And you want to lay down. You just want to lay down and just let and put pressure on it you're when you lay down you're putting pressure on your on your uh pelvis so that's the whole purpose of you putting your fist there and you want to keep it there and you just want to relax for at least 20 minutes to 30 minutes or an hour if you're um resting so you can do this and go to sleep and rest or you can do this for however long into the um to the pain stops and then once you do that um you also need to watch your diet so it's all in what you eat so the week before and the week after you need to be eating leafy greens and leafy vegetables dandelion leaves dandelion uh flowers and drinking that down as a herbal tea you need to make sure you have your turmeric and your ginger, if you don't have access to turmeric and ginger, you always want to get ginger powder and uh, turmeric powder so you can have it on hand. But I always try to do some fresh sliced ginger and boil it and drink that down. Don't use no sweeteners. Have, um, make sure you eat bland foods. Do not add anything to your foods. Just eat it bland. Um, you can do pink Himalayan salt. And olive oil and coconut oil, um, avocado oil, almond oil. But it's best to stay away from salt and oils during your cycle. And absolutely stay away from sugar. And you just want to eat um, and drink fruits and vegetables. And do your um, vitamin plant-based um, capsules with the powder. And you want to also do your uh, super green powder um, as well inside of your smoothie. So you want to do a lot of juicing. And um, a lot of bland foods. And I'll just put up a different uh, different things that I use. So again, you want to use your turmeric powder, your ginger powder. And um, if you don't have, if you have ginger slices, use fresh ginger slices and put it in purified water or spring water and boil it. And then also do peppermint tea. And these are some of the things that I use that actually help. So, guys, I hope this um, helped you guys. Um, I'm going to edit this video and show you guys, um, like, the different things that I use. But, again, you want to always do your ginger. Everybody knows about the ginger. Ginger is a lifesaver. You can um, do that alone. But to, to ease your pain quick, slice some fresh ginger and eat it. Don't boil it or nothing. Just eat a whole bunch of ginger slices and chew it on both sides of your mouth and swallow it down. And just keep doing it before your cycle and after your cycle. Your cycle always going to tell you that it's about to come on two weeks before ahead of time. So those two weeks, you need to be 
doing vagina uh, herbal steam and you can look that up i'm not going into that because i did a couple of videos on that already but you can do vagina steams um two weeks and a week before your cycle and then once you start getting those symptoms that letting you know you about to come on you need to already be um taking your a whole bunch of intake of um of uh of your um uh vitamin um multivitamins and your uh vegetables and fruits you need to enhance that and then also um, before, you need to also enhance your herbal um, drinking of your herbal teas, which is your turmeric and your, and your ginger. And you also want to put in cayenne pepper. So you want to put cayenne pepper in there, turmeric and ginger. And you want to get all of these fresh if you can. But if you can't, you always want to do your um, cayenne powder. That's period. But the other ones, um, you always want to try to get fresh ginger and fresh turmeric and slice them real thin and then boil them and steam them and then pour them into a, um, into a, um, pour them so you can drink them down. And you just want to drink this the week before and the week after. You just want to drink this the whole entire time you're on your cycle and before your cycle and after your cycle. You want to get, make this be your daily routine. And you also want to incorporate full intense body on um, full body stretches. And I did a lot of that in my th art therapeutic um, sessions and videos that you can go back and look at. And you want to in you want to uh, increase your uh, exercise. You want to make this be your daily routine. Uh, Pilates and aerobics is good um, for uh, for uh, easing um, your menstrual cycle and menstrual cramps. So um, let's recap. So what I showed you with the pelvis um, on the left and the right of the pelvis, and you putting them right here, left and right of the pelvis. And then you want to lay down flat on them. And then after you do that, um, you want to also be incorporating um, drinking your herbs, which is your turmeric, your cayenne pepper, um, your turmeric, cayenne pepper, and um, ginger, and peppermint tea. You don't want to, um, you can put all of them in one. You can just mix everything in one and drink it down. And you want to be drinking this before and after your cycle. Before and after your cycle. So you're making a habit and routine of it. So you want to drink it before and you want to drink it during your cycle. And I'm telling you, if you keep doing that, you'll, um, your um, cycles will get easier and easier. And they will get lesser and uh, lesser flow. It won't be such a heavy flow. And you'll be able to get through it without pharmaceuticals. Because I've been without pharmaceuticals for um, some years now. And I've been fine. But you have to make sure you incorporate Pilates and aerobics. Do a lot of full body um, stretches, intense body, deep body stretches. And I definitely recommend Sydney. And you can go back and look at my playlist of um of my art therapeutic sessions. And I um incorporate a couple of um a little stretches that I be doing, but do a lot of full body stretches and incorporate it with Pilates and aerobics. Um exercise is important and you need to exercise during your cycle too. But if you're um in in a lot of pain, oh, and I gotta also add in something uh for uh something else. But before I get into that, um before I digress, you also um need to make sure that um I forgot I, I lost my train of thought. Dang, I hate when I do that. But um take you some rice if you don't have a heating pad. And everybody knows about the heating pad already. But if you don't have it, you can take you some um some rice that you don't care about. Put you a cup of rice inside two uh inside one sock, and then put another sock over it, and then microwave it or heat it up, and then lay it on your uh on your uh uh below your navel, on your on your uh ver uh, uh vagina or yoni. Put it right here, and just keep putting it right there and keep massaging it and then also put it on your back put it on your back area and um just lay on that and that also helps but um i forgot what i was trying to say i lost my train of thought um guys but make sure you incorporate this and you will not have to um take medicine um ever again but um when you're doing um i think i was talking about um deep body stretches and um 
and and exercise when you do um body stretches and exercise it actually helps um your body um relieve yourself from having menstrual uh cramps so doing your cycle once your um cramps have calmed down uh then you need to start incorporating your exercise your light exercises and deep stretches so if y'all do all of that and then do your um your multivitamins, your magnesium, your zinc, and make sure you get out in the sun and make sure you take your um, daily multivitamins along with eating fruits and vegetables and leafy greens. If you do all of that, it's your diet. That's what causes your um, menstrual cramps to be very bad. So you need to lay off the um, sugar before two weeks before your menstrual and um and completely get it out of your diet um completely and just do natural ways of um eating sh uh natural occurring sugars but if you like sugar you want to um get off of it 2 weeks before your cycle and a week before your cycle and do not eat it and incorporate it into your diet during your cycle don't eat no sugar by any means necessary and make sure you lay off of the salt. If you do salt, do uh, pink Himalayan or sea salt. And those oils that I mentioned earlier. And once you incorporate all of that, you'll be fine. And make sure you do full body stretches. So make sure you do your full body stretches. And that can be all type of stretches that you can do. There's plenty of stretches on YouTube that you can do. I'll come back um, with one more bonus video of some stretches that you can do. Okay, guys, I'm back with the um, bonus video. So this is a stretch that you can do for menstrual pain. Now, if you are all, um, are in menstrual pain, do those um, do those uh, methods that I showed you first, and then once your body has calmed down, then you can um, then you can test this out. So basically, you're going to get onto your uh, fours and you're going to um, do the cat and cow uh, stretch where you're going to uh, go up like a cat, like how you see cats do when they stretch. And make sure your, um, your legs are out like, a, um, like how a cat or an animal is. And basically, you're just going to go just like how you see me going. And when you um do your breathing correctly, too, make sure you're breathing. So when you... um. So like this, hold on. So you want to inhale and then you want to exhale when you come up. So like this. Inhale. Exhale. Again. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, and you're just going to keep going, cat and cow, cat and cow. Okay, so keep doing that, and um, that'll also um, help your, um, your, your menstrual cramps. And guys, you want to do all of these things that, um, all of these methods that I'm giving you, you want to incorporate these as a lifestyle so that way you're preventing these things from happening but um they also can be implemented if you just um understanding and learning these different hostile hostilistic and um herbalistic and natural ways to ease um menstrual pain like if this is your first time understanding this stuff you still um can benefit from it and you can still get quick relief by doing the first part of the video that i showed you so um, once you do that and, and the way to get rid of your cramps um, immediately, like if you haven't been already doing this, is to um, make sure you drink and eat ginger, drink and eat ginger, fresh ginger, like boil it where it's very strong. And when you drink it, it's like, like where it's hot and you're tasting it, drink it down hot 
and then just keep using your um your uh your hot heating pads or your um bag of rice in a sock heat it up and put it on your um abdomen and on your back your lower back and on uh like uh below your navel um where you're uh between your yoni and your navel under your navel and just keep doing that and then that'll ease it quicker and then do those acupuncture uh, acupressures that i showed you along with the um cayenne pepper the turmeric and the ginger and the peppermint tea so again cayenne pepper turmeric ginger and peppermint tea do all of those together and I, I think i said everything right if i um think of something else that i forgot to add in i'll add it in when i edit this video and just keep doing that you'll be fine and eat lots of leafy vegetables eat a lot of green leafy vegetables eat your broccoli eat your dandelions go out in your backyard and find your dandelion flowers and pop them off and boil them and then eat your dandelion um leaves by soaking them in cold water and a little pink himalayan salt and try to stay away from um salts and oils during your cycle and sugars now some people um say that it's good um that you eat um oils but you have to eat the right omega oils i heard extra virgin olive oil is okay and um but I, I advise that you just stay away from um, oils. But if you, I'm not big on staying away from them. So I can't be telling y'all. But if you, um, if you can stay away from it, try to stay away from the salt and oils. If you can't stay away from them, just use uh, lesser salts and oils. Like I was telling you guys. Okay, guys. Um, talk to y'all later.